Hi and welcome to the Auction and Antique News. My name is Jason Harris and this is brought to you by Scammel Auctions. And we come screaming face first into Christmas, around about two and a half weeks to go. Time to get the shopping underway. Anyway, enough about Christmas, let's get on to the international news. You might remember about three weeks ago, we talked about a world record setting price for a piece of art, Leonardo da Vinci's Salvador Mundi, selling for $592 million Australian. So that's been reported to have been bought by Saudi Prince Bader bin Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Fan Al Saud. And this is heading over to Abu Dhabi's new museum or art gallery called the Louvre. And this is in a well-breaking billion dollar agreement uh, to not only build but also secure the name the Louvre. So there must be some money in oil. Okay, and continuing on with our news about Chinese record-breaking vessels and the like, an early Western Zhaoding vessel sold for £190,000, and this is part of the John claude Le Pillier collection of Chinese archaic bronzes. Now, what makes this quite special? The, yes, the total for the auction is about £582,000, so around about a million dollars Australian. But John Claude amassed around about 77 pieces of uh, the archaic bronzes, and they range between the Shang and the Han periods. Now, the Shang periods from 1600 BC to 1046 BC, the Han around about 206 to 220 AD. Now, these makes the vessels around about two to 3,000 years old. Now, that's the amazing part about this. So, 77 archaic bronze vessels around about two to three thousand years old up for sale and into something completely different a rare pair of playing cards now these were part of the allen and joan tucker estate which hit the auction market earlier this week now the two cards one featuring sephiris and the other one hercules sold for seven thousand and seven thousand five hundred dollars now these were printed in around about 1827 and a geographical pack featuring Morocco, printed around about the same time, sold for $5,700. So packs of cards getting huge money on the international market. And in Averian news, and we don't have a lot of Averian news, now the VC or the Victoria Cross is the British's highest military honour. And you wouldn't know it, but there is actually one for the animal kingdom as well, called the Dickon Medal. And a pigeon called Princess who earned the Dickon Medal uh, in World War II um, has uh, come up. The, uh, the medal, the Dickon Medal awarded to Princess has come up for sale at auction on the 12th of December. So I'm interested to see what the Dickon Medal gets for bravery. I'm not sure what uh, Princess did for that. And a 43.59 yellow graph diamond has set a new record or house record for fellows in the UK selling for $2 million Australian. So the diamonds, and that's obviously a girl's best friend, certainly at $2 million. Now into art news. And a record has been set for Soviet realist painter Alexander Denik, whose work entitled Heroes of the Past Five Years, and it's sold for $3.95 million. And this is off the back of not only the centenary of the Soviet uh, or the Russian Revolution, but also the current exhibitions at the Royal Academy and the Tate. And following the art news, a 40-strong collection of Banksy's works have made its way over to the US from the UK and will hit the hammer or the auction hammer on the 12th of December in New York. And the three main pieces of that, there's The Girl with the Balloon, and that's a 2004 work, and that's, uh, we expect, between about eighty dollars and $120,000. That's US dollars as well. Bomb Love, the 2003 work, around about thirty dollars to $40,000. And Turf War, featuring, Win featuring Winston. That's a 2003 work, and that's expected between about thirty dollars and $40,000. So Banksy's to hit the Christmas market on the 12th of December. And a great segue into more of Churchill's news. We don't do a lot of Churchill news. You can bid on a pair of Winston's spectacles, uh, which are expected to achieve about 1,000 or 2,000 pounds. They come up for auction this week. And of course, it'll be their darkest hour if they don't sell. All right. In local news, and of course, don't forget the local news here in Australia. And we reported last week that the 1909 Ashes Urn 
which was presented to Australian captain Monty Noble, uh, came up for sale at Leonard Joel's, and that ended up selling for $80,600. So a good one for the Ashes, and the captain of the English side was in the crowd as well bidding, uh, maybe their only way of getting the Ashes back. Anyway, on to uh, more local news, uh, with Scammells and four more auctions to go in the last two weeks. It includes the Ron Pierce Music Auction, which is the entire stock and contents in trade uh, to be sold in two parts. The first one coming up next Tuesday, the 12th of December. There's also an online art auction. And our year ends with the Christmas clearance sale, and that is on the Monday, the 18th of December. That is it for the uh, auction and antique news. My name is Jason Harris, and this is brought to you by Scammell Auctions.